Hi, I'm Rod Webb from Pierce County Land Conservation mm -hmm. Department, and today I'm here with Tom Milliron, a uh, corn and soybean farmer in Arkansas, Wisconsin, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about his farming operation and cover crop planting. Yeah. And you know, thanks, Rod. As he said, I'm Tom Milliron. I've been on this farm for about 45 years. I lived in this valley all my life. It's a big Arkansas valley with my wife and raised three kids here. Uh, it's a beautiful place here in Wisconsin. So, thanks, Rod. So, Tom, let's talk about establishing your cover crops and um, your techniques for doing so, including uh, you know your seeding rates, what what variety or what um, products seeds you're using. Well, basically, I've been just using uh, cereal rye as a cover crop. Uh, earlier in the summer, after we take a rye crop off or an oats crop, sometimes I'll go in for a, a neighbor or somebody that has the same thing. We'll, we'll put in some tillage radish and maybe some oats. Uh, and actually, I guess some clover once in a while. Uh, I know they talk about putting clover on this time of year, but I'm a little bit negligent because, of, or reluctant, I guess is the right word, because what advantage am I going to get out of it? You know, sure. the growing season's so short. Uh, so establishing your your cereal rye, uh, we're standing next to your your air seeder here. Uh, tell me a little bit about the rates you're planting um, with oh, the cereal rye. Yeah. Well, cereal rye, like we said earlier, we were going at a bushel of the acre. Now we're up to about 100 pounds, a short two bushel, I call it. Um, Seems to give us a little more bump and get some more roots in there, uh, so forth. Uh, I guess uh, after it's up and in the spring, uh, my I guess my biggest focus on planting green is if it's a dry spring, I'd probably look like it's gonna stay dry. I'd probably plant it and, and get it killed shortly afterward. Uh, but if there's lots of water, and like in our clay valley here, it actually helps dry it out. I'll let it go as long as I can, and it actually will help. Uh, so it could vary from you know being sprayed right after it's planted up to two weeks afterward, just depending on the weather. I think the moisture is the key. Sure. Uh, so that's one of the big things you look at is this, the surface moisture, the subsurface moisture in the soil. Uh, you mentioned a little bit in your heavy clay soils here of uh, how uh, the cereal rye can help you. Um, what, what benefits have you seen there? Easier plantability, closing, um, get on it, yeah. get planting sooner? Um, well, definitely. I mean, help? you got, it's uh, it'd be like planting on a, a nice lawn, you know, it's, it'll carry the planter. You actually can plant on wetter conditions because they've got that green mass on there that'll keep the planter wheels clean and so forth. Uh, so that that's an advantage. And then, of course, like I say, when you get excessive moisture, uh, not a lot of people get that. I guess it's in the <laughs> luck of the draw, but this valley, we're more excessive moisture than we are short of moisture. Uh, but that's uh, what I've seen is uh, planting time. You can probably plant just as early or not earlier because of that and going out there when it's and then you got that root mass in there to help with your sidewall compaction you don't have to worry about that as bad and yeah so did you make any changes to your corn planter when you started into the planting green any <clears throat> adjustments that you really found were important nothing drastic i mean other than the closing i use the spike closing wheels uh probably don't have to be as aggressive because the ground is actually mallower. Uh, just a little side point, uh, I was in the custom planting, started in 1991, doing a lot of no-till for first time for neighbors or doing this and doing that. And there was problems of getting it in the ground. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how much down pressure we needed. We needed so much special equipment. Nowadays you can take a regular planter out there with nowhere near the equipment we had on them and, and the ground is just so much more mellow than it was. Well, so I the, guess that's 30 years ago now. But <laughs> so the cereal rye rooting system and improving the soil biology, you really see, oh, yeah. see a change in that. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, After planting, uh, when we get to termination, you talked about, you, you look at kind of what the, the moisture conditions are at the time but um, how are you completing your termination then? 
Well, I'm usually making a, I've did it both ways. I'll just use a uh, Roundup application, you know, you can go down as low as four to six ounces, depending on the size of it. If it's under a foot, I usually go on with about 12 ounces though to get a little fat. But, you know, that depends on the dryness too. If you want to sure. kill it fast or whatever. And then, uh, and I have put it on with my other chemicals too. And then I also spray, I use 28% for my nitrogen. And I love spraying that on that green cover or even the dying green cover okay. holds the, the nitrogen into that organic matter. Okay. Um, Any changes to soil fertility? Ah, uh, I haven't sat down so much as to document it to that point. I'm more of a visual type person, I guess. But I, uh, it's got to be a plus to it. I mean, it's just just the visual part of it, and I mean the yields and so forth. I mean, there's just, it's all. Uh, it's just, it just is. I mean, it's, uh, I always keep thinking, I may be dating myself here, you know, and what Rod can remember, his dad too, but plowing down green manure. And green manure was a hay field or something like that, and basically that's all we're doing is bringing back green organic matter and, and creating, and, and uh, when they used to do that, they never used any nitrogen, and uh, or very little, limited the amount. So, no, it's, it's uh, I think it's going to be huge uh, in the future. It's just the farm economics got better here the last, you know, back a few years when it started. Economics was just so tight. Yeah, there's a little, you know, it ain't like you can lay down a dollar and get a dollar tomorrow. It's going to be your building into the future. Uh, take care of your land. It'll take care of you. And, uh, and I think we can do it by using cover crops and so forth. So from what I'm hearing here, Tom, is... Uh, you found the planting green, working the covers into your system came along pretty easily, pretty naturally, and there wasn't any um, anything major you had to change? No, no, no. no if, if anything, it makes it easier. Yeah. Rod, Fantastic. can you ask him a little bit about uh, if it changed, you know, yield or negative? Sure. Yeah, he did. Um, we'll, we'll ask the question about yield. Everybody <laughs> wants to know, um, how does it yield? Uh, yeah. Well, it's uh, there's so many variables in yield. You know, I've never did a you know a, a real scientific side by side you know this and that. But I'm really happy, like I said before, about our, my crop of corn. I, I'm I believe we're going to have the best crop of corn in this valley that I've ever seen. And uh, I've, we just harvested some of the neighbors that does some of the same practices probably a little less, and it's some of the record corn that we've ever combined. Uh, and some people say, this year? Yeah, well, that's the way this valley is. And because we're always fighting moisture a little bit and, uh, and that type of thing. And so it's, or too much moisture, excuse me. And, but I think uh, and them variables definitely outweigh the big jump you're gonna see. I think down the road with this organic, no, I wanna use the word organic, I, cover crops with getting the microbes and stuff in your soil it's uh it's, it's going to be huge it's just it's like you say you don't see it tomorrow or the next day but you're going to see it in the future so you you would agree that improving our soil health is going to improve the profitability of our farms in the future right uh, definitely most definitely